Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you very unique and different four step infographic slide in PowerPoint. So let's start. Add a new slide, go to insert, shapes and select a rectangle and you can make the height and width as 1.5 inches. Remove the outline and by pressing the alt and right arrow key you can just rotate it. It should look like a diamond shape now. Press Ctrl D. Increase the width and height to 1.9 inches. Shape outline make it uh, blue and shape fill make it as no fill. And bring it on top of the rectangle and make it align center. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and align next. You can make it 4 or 5 or 3 depending on your requirement. Go to insert again. Shapes. Select a triangle and make the height as 4.5 and the width as 0.9. Make it no outline, press Ctrl D and rotate it and align it to the bottom. You can group it by pressing Ctrl G, increase the size somewhat and I'm just going to give some two different colors of the same shape. I can use maybe some orange and on the top somewhat light orange. And press Ctrl D, make two more. This is the second one and this is the third one. So this also I'm just going to change some different color. You can choose your own colors. Yeah and bring it over here and send it to back you have to make sure that uh, the one point the one corner is should be back of the, the big rectangle this also again you just make it send back yeah this is the way it should be so you have to do the similar for the others you have to keep on clicking the send back till it gets to the right position
yeah this is perfect insert one more rectangle and make it as 0.7 width and height make it no outline rotate it change uh, some dark colors and place it over here and there are some icons if you have the icons bring it here and you can insert some more rectangle rounded rectangle at the bottom first make sure that it is center aligned bring it exactly the below of the the first the diamond shape no fill and put type option 1 and change the font color so that the font will be visible press ctrl D and you can make it the four options there here I'm just going to use one arrow just draw the arrow zoom in so that uh, the arrows are perfectly aligned and insert one oval shape make height and width as 0.1 it will be very small and fill as white fill you can further zoom in and bring it here yeah make sure that the arrow also align it to the center and give the same color select these three objects and I'm just going to give some text here I can just type equals to LOREM within brackets 1 it will give you some Latin text You can put your own text here. This is just for uh, for my easy understanding, or easy convenience. I'm just doing this one and place it below the option one. So that all these things, right mouse click, group, and press Control D and paste it to the remaining objects. You have to make sure that it is aligned properly.
change to option 2, option 3 and option 4. Go to insert text box, add text. I'm just using a title here. And bring it here. Control D, follow the same steps. You can insert one more rectangle, make it no outline. I'm going to add the arrows again from the top. And the end arrow type, I will make it again the same diamond shape. You can see this one here. I'm just going to copy this particular oval shape. And bring it to the top of the arrow. Change the outline. Press Ctrl D and bring it here. Do the same thing for the remaining two. We are almost done with this. I can go and change the background color. Use any light colors there. In the center you can make it white. You can see this one. I can just go and change it to some different colors. Use some light, maybe this color. This is your final result. Option 1, Option 2, Option 3 and Option 4. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.